Fortunately for those, in the, we've actually categorized them as we speak into three um, um, bands. Band A are those that are 65% and above. Band B are between 65 and about 40%. Whereas those lower, like this one, are in band C. Meaning that those in band A, about 28 or so facilities, are likely to see the light of day probably even before the end of this year. Um, on our chair, just as we have our experience in our private lives, if you plan to build a three-bedroom house and you assume that you have some funds, the land will go smooth, and you encounter a, a dispute on the land, it can throw the timelines out of gear. Uh, at certain places, even towns were fighting over where, which town within the district should host the Ajinawa one. And if you don't resolve these things and rush, you can get a backlash. So I think that is land issues is the first thing that accounted for the change in the timelines, some timelines. Other words, uh, the second issue is that in most uh, communities that are urbanized, even finding the minimum of three or four acres for Ajinawa was a problem. So Accra, for example, most places in Accra that are part of Ajinawa one don't have the same design of a very smooth flow and all that. They have to go for amended designs. Some are having three, four story. Some are having a way to make sure they also get a fit for purpose facility. So land is the first issue.